Hello, my name is Jesse, and today we'll be covering how to manage mobile carriers in Nagios XI. So managing your mobile carriers in Nagios XI is a pretty simple procedure, and it's quite straightforward once you, uh, once you understand how a couple of things connect. But there are a few videos that I do recommend watching first. Those two videos are configuring notification preferences in Nagios XI and using different notification methods in Nagios XI recommend watching those two videos first and then watching this one just so you understand exactly what we're configuring when we're talking about mobile carriers. So to get started, let's go to admin and then we'll go to manage mobile carriers. And it's important to understand what exactly mobile carriers are used for. So when Nagios XI is going to, you understand that it can send you an email when something bad happens on your network. And it can also send you a text message when something bad happens on your network. In terms of how it gets that text message to your phone, it doesn't actually send you know, an SMS text directly to your phone. It sends an email to one of these mobile carrier gateways. Say you have an AT&T phone, it'll be your number at txt.att.net. Then that email is translated by whatever system this is into a text message and sent to your phone. So that's how Nagios XI can get text messages to your phone is through these gateways. If you have a custom a phone carrier that you need to define, one that's not included by default on our list, feel free to define it here and just be aware that this address here down in the email to text address format column, this will need to be the email to text gateway for your carrier and they will need to provide one of those to you. So just, just something to be aware of. So in terms of describing what this format means, you'll notice that there's a number macro inside of the email to text address format and that, uh, that prefaces the actual domain. So this number, where does it come from? That's the question. And it's easily answered by clicking on your user account. So go to the top right hand corner of Nagios XI, and I'm just gonna open this in a new tab. And we'll go to the Nagios admin account information page, click on notification methods, and go to mobile text. Once you're at mobile text, you'll notice that you have a mobile phone number defined. I've defined mine as all fives and you have a carrier that you can select. Please note that any custom carriers you define here will appear in this carriers list to all of your clients so they can select their own carrier at will. So if I selected, for instance, AT&T and hit update settings, if my user were to get a text message from Nagios XI, the formatting would fill in this number in place of the number macro. So it would fill in my number here, and then it would send the email to this address. And that's how Nagios XI alerts are translated from emails into text messages. And I, I just really wanted to cover how these two things kind of connect together and how to define your own custom mobile carriers and how your users would be able to, uh, to make use of that. So when you define a, uh, a custom mobile carrier in the email to text address format area, be sure to use this number macro, otherwise uh, things can go wrong. So that's just something to be aware of wanted to show you how that all uh, connects together. And if you have any questions about that process, please feel free to contact us at the support forum. We're at support.nagios.com forum. Otherwise, please feel free to check out our related content below. Thanks.